Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here with me. I am Lou and this is the month ahead reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. We are looking at what is um, in store for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs during the month of October of 2020. Now, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with you all. If it doesn't resonate, then please feel free to move forward respectfully to the next reader who may have a message for you at this time. However, please remember it is a reading for Sun, Moon and Rising rising therefore if you're checking this out as your sun sign also check out um your moon and rising signs too because those videos may have a message in them for you too if you're wanting a private reading if you're wanting a month ahead reading from myself details are in the box below as is every single thing that you need to know about the channel about me how to book readings what readings are do etc everything's all in the list below so let's jump into these energies so the main theme for the month of october for virgo <laughs> some moon and rising signs is safe travel we have keep me safe and let me roam far away but bring me home so i am feeling um, a couple of things for this this could be traveling for some of you some of you are moving forward and doing something new it could be a holiday it could be that you are moving um further away it could be that you're going across the sea etc this is some sort of voyage some sort of journey now some sort of journey as well as being external it can actually be internal so it may be that you are going on an internal journey to dig out things that need to be dug out to help you move forward and to grow so for the first week of october we have the triumphant success card so this i'm feeling is about you moving towards something that is good for you something that you know you want to achieve something that will bring you what you are wanting in life this is triumphant success so this is not sort of like something that you think might work this is something you definitely know is going to work this is something really really good something really really solid that can change your life around it's moving you out of the dark into the light as well we have the sort of truth there so i'm feeling that you are standing in your truth you're standing in your power and you are forging your way you're cutting away anything that's no longer serving you so that you can move forward however the challenge is rejoicing in celebration now this has come up a few times for a few different signs this is almost like You've got these ideas and you can tell that there is going to be successful. You tell can tell that it's moving you in the right direction. But then you have these niggling little doubts that are jumping into your mind that are saying, no, don't celebrate yet. This isn't going to happen. It's going to fall. You're going to fall flat on your face is what I'm hearing. Um, this is about really keeping your mind in tune. With this safe travel, if it is internal work that you're doing, these are the sort of things that you need to be looking at. Why are you so confident that things are going to be successful? One point, but then the next point you are having these um, thoughts popping up along the lines of oh, it's not going to work. Um, you can't do that. It's not going to be successful, etc. It's time to really look at those, look at where they've come from, why they are your beliefs, why your mind is telling you that you can't achieve something that the moment before you are looking at and saying, yes, I can actually do that. Moving forward into week two, we do have this discontent and boredom card. And I'm feeling that by week two, you've probably started trying to do something, but your mind's probably convinced you not to bother doing it. It's got you to that point where you're thinking, well, what's the point? Um, it could be that in week one, you were thinking like you're going to have instant success. Everything's going to fall into place just like that. It's not going to happen like that. Um, everything takes time. Everything needs to evolve. Everything needs to grow. It's not just you that you are changing. Um, you have that ripple effect. So what you do in your life affects everyone else. Just the same as what happens in other people's lives affects you as well. So you've been going towards this success, wanting something more, but for some reason you're now falling into this boredom and discontent. This could purely be um, like having all this passion and burning out too quick. 
it's almost like putting all in and not resting and now you're sort of like fatigued because you have basically put in a thousand hours the week before and this week you are just so so tired and so fed up that all those thousand hours what you put in just haven't brought anything around the death the challenge card is the destiny card now this is the wheel of fortune now with the wheel of fortune um this is a process where you are in control you are the one that is in control of that wheel you are the one making it go forward but you're also the one making it go back so when it comes in the challenge i'm feeling that you are struggling to get it going forward you are struggling to get the momentum to start making the changes in your life You've had these good ideas. Your mind's playing eye, um, tricks on you saying that you can't do this. It's brought you around to this discontent and boredom sort of energy. So now your wheel is getting a bit stuck. You need to get back into the mindset of knowing that what you are working on can actually work. It can bring you the success that you originally thought it was. You just need to get rid of those that mindset of being a failure, not working, etc. And I do feel you will actually come to that position about week three, because week three, we have positive movement forward. Now, throughout this is the last reading of the October um, Zodiac readings and literally pretty much every single one of these um, star signs has actually said that the main energy doesn't actually start to come into effect until about the second, the third and fourth week. It's almost like weeks one and two are the preparation for this main theme to come in during the third and fourth week. Now, what I'm drawn to on here, yes, we've got that positive movement forward. On this one, we have that ship. We have two ships here, two lots of water. So I am believing with some of you, it will be traveling across water. It will be you moving. It could be moving states. It could be moving countries. It could just be going on holiday, getting a break, etc. But I'm really feeling that this is sailing towards the sunset, looking for something more Um really going for what it is um as well there's a lot of water so this is something emotional something that will emotion is emotionally fulfilling for you it's coming out of the storm and going in a direction that is going to bring you more more emotional stability more emotional um experiences that will help you grow and move on the challenge which we have here is the spiritual union card which is the two of cups and the four of the four of wands which is foundation and achievements so what i'm feeling here is you are moving towards something more for some of you may you may be focused on the home life you may be focused on trying to manifest that soulmate for yourself someone that is going to be good to you someone that is you see eye to eye with and it's literally this eye as well your third eye someone that you have that deep connection with someone that is good for your soul um, and you're wanting to set up that happy home. You want that happily ever after. And I'm feeling that at the moment you are probably not seeing how it's going to work out in your life. This is a challenge. OK, you are starting to move forward, but you're still unsure that your full dreams can be realised. It's almost like, yes, you have started to move forward. You have started to manifest some things into your life. But is it possible for you to have a spiritual connection? Is it possible for you to have that happy home, the happy husband, the happy wife, the happy children, the nice home, the rainbows and flowers and all the confetti, etc. And yes, it is possible for you. Um, it maybe may take a time for it to happen, but you need to stay focused on the fact that that is what you are working towards. It's... um. 
there's nothing wrong with you admitting that you would like to be in a relationship. There's nothing wrong admitting that you would like that nice, stable home life. Even if you have had relationships in the past that have been very dubious, um, people have sort of like not been happy with the relationship choices that you have made in the past. You've then not been happy with them either. And you have been made to move forward. If you are worried about looking a fool again, remember the what you have learned from your past has put you in good stead for the future. You will be able to um, distinguish the different types of people that are coming to you. And the fact that you have grown, the fact that you have moved forward, you will now be attracting a different type of person to you. So if the challenge is you thinking, well, I don't want another partner. I don't want this happy life. It's not for me. The men, the women, the whatever I attract are not good for me. Then this is just telling you that you need to move out of that mindset because what you've had in the past, what you've attracted in the past, you will not be attracting anymore because you have taken these lessons, you have learned and you have grown and you are moving forward. This is positive movement forward. So positive. Yes, something good will be coming your way. In week four, we do have the patience and planning. So as you are moving forward, as you are trying to fulfill your dreams, trying to make things happen, trying to manifest the best life that you possibly can. Week four is about making those plans, laying down, um, literally getting out your books, your paper, your pens, etc. And making plans. Where are you going to go next? This is knowing that not everything is going to come to you um, straight away. What I'm seeing here, um, I've never really noticed this before, but we have the rain here. We have the sun here. So we have autumn. It's spring, summer, autumn and winter. This is basically saying that it will take time for everything to come in. It will take time for um, your dreams to manifest. It does not mean that they're not coming. It just means that they are going to take a little while. Because the challenge we have as well is this new beginning. And I'm feeling that you have put in some work and you are wanting this new beginning. But you're now like, well, I've done all this. Where's my new beginning? And it's not quite time for it to come in. That's not saying it's not going to happen. It's not saying that you're not going to be moving forward and that good things aren't going to be coming to you. You will get your new beginning, but everything else in your life has to fall into place. The universe, um, I was explaining this with one of the other signs. So um, it's like the control tower at an airport and you've got the flight controllers in this tower and they are deciding what's coming in and what's going out and how long it is between each of these planes etc that's how the universe works okay they have to do that for everyone on this planet everyone that is trying to manifest everyone who is alive and existing on this planet at this time so what's actually happening is you are being asked to just be patient because not quite everything is into the rhythm that it needs to be in at this time the universe is working to get things under control so that the right things can come into you at the right time and the right things can leave you at the right time too so that it opens you up gives you the space to create something brand new, something that is good for you, something that will ultimately bring you these connections that you're after and that secure home and family. So I'm just going to be pulling one final card. So dear angels, guys, keep the light, please guide me. What one message above all messages is in the highest good for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs to receive for the month of October. What final piece of advice and encouragement can we bring through to Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs? Let's have one more piece of information, shall we? One final message for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for October 2020. Which one final message do we need to see today? October 2020, Virgo. One final message, please make it clear. Whoops, that is too many. I have three there. There's four actually. 
sorry about that one of them went right under my desk all right let's make it clear virgo sun moon and risings one final message encouragement and advice there we go we have love and light act with care so let's dig into the book and have a look at what message we have there it's card number 26 reduces down to the number eight for those that are interested i'm going to hold the card just there for you so you can draw in the energy we have love and light resistance higher intervention is required act with love sending this love and light means two things love the deepest form of unconditional love possible that you have in your heart and beyond physical comprehension and light the purest form of light that permeates any darkness and finds any cracks or imbalances that are unable to resonate at this frequency or vibration gently raising those to this level people can sometimes be resilient to assistance those with addictions or challenging behavioural or physical issues may not be able to ask or be willing to receive help. Feeling helpless can be overwhelming to caregivers and those with strong empathic qualities. Not being able to offer aid or have an assistance refused when a person's pride is too great can also feel disheartening. More importantly though, it is to remember to respect their free will by acknowledging their own personal interference or intrusion into this person's life. Being too pushy in this area will have the opposite effect and personal karmic backlash, so make sure your ego is kept in check. Those stuck in victimhood archetypes or their emotional pain body are often not willing to be active participants in their own healing on a conscious level particularly if their reasoning is recent or raw, including issues such as trauma and grief. Everyone heals in their own time and it's important to respect to be give sorry, it's important for respect to be given in this moment. All you can do right now is send this issue and person love and light. You are merely an observer in this case and it is out of your control. Regardless of the physical outcome there is, there is little you can do expect, except send this loving energy to this issue. This has the potential to energetically shift the situation into a positive outcome. Anyone you know can receive this loving form of healing energy. Purely sending from your heart with the celestial realm of 100% pure light can alter lower energies into a higher frequency, helping those experiencing hardships or a tough time in life. Pride, emotional and physical defiance and loss. The sacred crystal is rose quartz. The angel assistance is guardian angel Ramiel, giving and receiving love, compassion. The affirmation is, I accept I cannot save everyone. I choose to help those open to assistance. Okay, so for some of you, you may be putting all your effort into trying to save others. Um, others that aren't actually not at this moment um, open to being healed, that are not wanting to move forward, that are quite happy sitting in that victimhood mentality. This, however, I am feeling is for you and it is talking about you going and doing that shadow work. It's about really opening up and seeing where those traumas have come from, where the healing needs to be applied, etc. As I said, with this safe travel card, I'm very much feeling that it's not just necessarily about physical movement. It is about internal movement. It's about going within, traveling within, learning about yourself. Once you learn about yourself, once you start um, 
working in the realms of self-love, respecting yourself, loving yourself enough that you want to heal, that you want to move past all those traumas, all those um, tensions, aggression, etc. from the past, that is when you start really shifting your life. You start shifting your energy. You change your vibrations. You lift them higher. And I think that October is very much that month for you to start doing that. Really digging deep, really moving forward, looking at mistakes you've made, understanding why you made those mistakes, looking at how you would deal with that mistake if it came up again now. Would you deal with it differently? Pretty much yes. Yes, you would do because you have learned from the previous situation and you know you don't want to be going back to that. So this is very much a healing month for you. It's a very healing month for everyone. There's a lot going on in the background at the moment. Um, lots of strong energies. And it is all about pushing us towards that self-love, pushing us towards opening up, healing ourselves so that then we can move forward and heal others. Now, we don't have to be healers to actually heal others. When you heal yourself, you send out a ripple. When you heal yourself, you heal those around you. You start the ball rolling. Um, and it, every time you do a bit of work on yourself, you are raising the vibration of the planet. So this is about you thinking about yourself and healing yourself first. So if you've got people in your life, if you've been putting your life on hold because you've been trying to help others out, trying to help others coming through um again well what we have we do have in week one this um three of cups technically all about um soul connections um soul sisters brotherhoods etc and what i'm feeling is that as a challenge it could be that that's what you're facing that you've got people around you that you are really so desperate to help but they don't want your help so it's now time for you to concentrate on yourself you cannot heal or help someone who doesn't want healing or helping if they're not open to that um that kind of work, that kind of support, then it's time for you to just look at you, concentrate on you and let them come round to doing their own healing, their own um, inner work as and when they are ready for it. And then you can be there for them then when they're ready for it. But until they're ready, you just cannot help them at all. So that is your reading, Virgo. I hope it has given you a bit of clarity, a bit of insight, a bit of guidance. And um, please feel free to take what you can from this and apply your free will to it. Um, it's time for movement. It's time to move forward. It's time for you to start those journeys and make something more of your life. If you're liking the reading, please give me that thumbs up. If you are feeling inclined, click on that subscribe button. But having said that, have a fabulous month and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.